Creating New Network Connections. In this lesson, we're going to discuss how to create a new dial-up or broadband connection. We'll talk about working with wireless network connections. And finally, we'll discuss using the Connect To option. OK, so let's get started. So to create a new network connection, the place we want to go is the Network and Sharing Center. We can do that a couple of different ways. If we right click the little icon in the system tray, we can select Network and Sharing Center. And so from within the Network and Sharing Center, you can see over here in the tasks, we have several different ways we can connect to a network. If we select the Set Up a Connection or Network, you'll notice we have quite a number of options that we can choose from, setting up a dial-up connection, manually connecting to a wireless network. But if we select this top one, Connect to the Internet, and select Next, it says you already have a connection, but we'll set up a new connection anyway. And here we can choose wireless, broadband, or dial-up. Now, in the event your system did not have a wireless connection or didn't have a modem, these options would not be available to you. So we see these options because in this case, this system particularly has the ability to connect in all three ways. We can select an option and then from there we'll have to include information regarding that option. So in some cases, a broadband provider may require access using a username and password. Or you might be dialing into another network directly over the phone. In that case, you would want to make sure you have all the information for dialing into a network. So for example, if we select dial up, here you see you have to have the dial up phone number, the username, the password, and then you can give some extra information here. And you probably want to establish your dialing rules which involve establishing your area code. In addition, we can select the option Connect to a Network, and this shows us all of the different networks that are available to us. So if we select the down arrow, you can see that we can have dial-up and VPN networks or simply wireless networks. In the event you only want to connect to a wireless network, you would put this on and then find the wireless network that you want to connect to. The same is true if you select Manage Wireless Networks. This opens up your options in terms of your own personal wireless networks. Sometimes a wireless network will require either a wired equivalent privacy, which is WEP, or Wi-Fi protected access, which is WPA, in this case here, security key. And you will need to type in the key when it is requested. Without the key, you won't have access. In addition to working with the Network and Sharing Center, when you want to connect to a network, you can simply click the Start Orb and choose Connect To. And this will take you to the same dialog we saw earlier, where you were able to choose the network that you wanted. Vista will show you all of the available networks in your area. Obviously, if you're directly connected to a network with a cable, it will only show you the networks you're connected to. But if you're on a wireless connection, it will show you all of the wireless networks that are in your area. So we hope you found that helpful, and thanks for viewing.